going you guys welcome back to channel anderson today i was going to show you guys how to change the front and rear differential fluid on the ml55 it'll be a quick video but i figured I might as well film it show you guys what i have going on all the supplies that i got i got off of fcp euro i'm going to be using redline fluid so i'll show you guys everything here in a second as we get started all right guys so i swear i had two of these but anyways um have one of them left over and luckily i found another 75 wait 90 diff fluid so i'll be using that got our uh, fluid galore here my stepdad's oil cabinetry and fluid cabinetry <laughs> but yeah we got one other one over here so we're gonna be using this 75 weight 90 any uh synthetic gear oil should do and that weight for the front and rear so I'll go ahead and get everything started and show you guys what you need to do to be able to change this wanted to throw this in the video as well one week update on the water pump and everything has been working fine temps have been good hoses that we put on have been staying clear the oil cooler everything is dry down below and the car has been running awesome so i'm gonna pay attention to this um once the car cools down while i'm here see if i need to uh top up the fluid a tiny bit since uh kind of letting it been running We'll see. I think I might need to add a little bit. All right, so about as straightforward as can be, there's the fill plug right there. And down here is the drain plug. So of course, anytime you're working on anything, you always wanna undo the fill plug first. Make sure before you drain out any fluid that you can get it off. And these are 10 millimeter uh, hex head, or just like an Allen key. I have the little socket attachment, so that's what I'll be using, but probably get away with using an allen key uh, but yeah we get this one undone and then i'll go ahead and drain out the bottom all right fill plug is out whoever did this last probably way over tightened it because i had to use a hammer hitting the uh, socket over here ratchet to get it cracked but yeah came out un unscathed not too bad, we'll clean it up and uh, start to drain it. All right, it's got both plugs out and cleaned up. They do have a little O-ring on them. I mean, they're pretty much sitting in gear oil the whole time, so I think you can get away without replacing them unless they look, you know, in poor shape. Um, I'll check if we have any that I can throw on here. We might have the right size, but if not, no big deal. Uh, they are magnet end, and both of them look fairly clean. I mean, they had a little, little bit of debris on top, but nothing crazy. Um, and it looks like everything's pretty much drained out. The fluid uh, didn't look too bad, actually. I'll show you guys once I pull it out of here, but um, I just didn't have any idea when this was done. So I figured it doesn't hurt. Um, and you can see I cleaned off the fill hole right there. Nothing came out when I opened up the fill hole, so should just put about uh, a liter or a quart back in and should be good. So I'll let this finish dripping down and then I'll go ahead and button the bottom one back up and pour in the fluid. All right, getting a closer look at the fluid. It is a little worse than I saw when it was coming out, but nothing crazy, but definitely time to be changed. So like I said, glad I'm doing it because I didn't know when it had been done last. All right, so we had the right size gasket, so I figured I might as well replace them, her O-rings. Um, they weren't exactly the same. They're a little bit thicker, but um, diameter is pretty much the same. So it should be fine. I'll go ahead and plug it in, make sure it fits fine. All right, so moving on to the back one now. You can see the fill bolt is right there, and the drain bolt is right here. And you can see I'm at the back of the car. So the fill bolt is basically right behind the rear subframe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one cracked and then I'll keep going on the other one. All right, so I got the uh, fill plug out and it's actually just too tight between the subframe and the fill bolt to um, get in there with a ratchet. So barely just too narrow. So I ended up using just a 10 millimeter Allen key and even this is like just cutting it close um, so it works I just I just tapped it with a hammer since I didn't have much 
leverage since it's not that long. Um, and this one came undone a lot easier. So it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it now. All right, now for the tricky part. Drain bolts already in, ready to fill the fluid. This is my method I've been using lately, just using this spare Tupperware bowl and this little uh, pump fluid filler. Uh, it's not how it was intended to use, but uh, <laughs> it will work just fine like this. So I'll just make do and uh, save a little bit of hassle, even though it's still kind of a hassle doing it this way, but um, I don't know what other methods to get into that tight of a space. So I'm gonna stick with this one. Okay, job done for that one. You're not gonna get all of the fluid in there. Don't fight it too hard. Um, so I probably got close to a liter into there, not the whole quart, but that's okay. It only calls for a liter anyway. So this little bit of leftover is not gonna hurt anything. But yeah, all tightened up, front's done, back's done. And now I know when the last time this was done. So that's the biggest reason why I did this. Didn't know what kind of uh, condition the flu was in because I had no idea when it was last changed. So for all I know, very well could be the original fluid. It's definitely dark enough to be, so yeah, glad I did it. All right guys, well that'll go ahead and wrap up the video right there. The last thing I'm gonna do, I always do this whenever I change my diff fluid, I go and do kind of like figure eights a little bit. So I'm gonna do that on my own, not gonna be on video, but um, that's about it for today's video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, comment down below if you guys got any suggestions or input, info, whatever else. If you guys are enjoying the content, go ahead and subscribe. Click the notifications if you want to be notified for any upcoming videos. Got a lot of good stuff on the way. Stay tuned. Anyways, peace.